Rebuilding an engine takes many parts. CTP offers all the parts and components for rebuilding the C-15 engine. The crankshaft installation is the first and most critical step in an engine rebuild. In this video, we will show you how a C-15 crankshaft is properly installed. After making certain that the engine block is free of any contaminants, we begin by installing the upper half of the main bearings. The C-15 engine takes seven identical main bearings. The upper bearings contain the holes where the oil under pressure from the engine oil pump will flow to lubricate the crankshaft. The technician generously applies engine assembly lube to all the bearings. Using a proper hoist, the crankshaft is moved into position, then gently lowered onto the bearings on the engine block. The thrust plates also receive a generous amount of assembly lube prior to installation. The crankshaft thrust plates provide a controlled gap that allows for axial movement of the crankshaft. This is known as in-play. The thrust plates on the C-15 engine are located on the number four or center main. The main caps are installed next. Note that these bearings do not have lubricating holes. The main caps are carefully installed into position. Once the main caps are in place, the bolts are started to line up the caps properly. The technician then uses a rubber mallet to set the main cap onto the block. It is important to know that the main caps should be numbered and that each cap must be installed in their respective position. With a speed wrench, the bolts are first hand tightened. The use of a torque wrench is required to properly tighten the bolts to the original manufacturer's specified value. Starting from the center, the main caps are tightened in an outward sequential order. The C-15 engine has a special tightening process, first an initial torque, then an additional 120 degree turn. When completed, the technician then places a mark on each bolt and each cap. The bolts are then tightened an additional 120 degrees, or as they commonly say, two flats, meaning that the head on the bolt, being a hexagon, will produce a 120 degree turn when two flat sides have been turned past the paint mark. The final step in this procedure is checking for crankshaft in-play. In-play is the required axial movement of the crank. A magnetic base dial indicator is placed on the engine block with the indicator probe touching the crankshaft. Once the indicator dial is zeroed in, the crankshaft is forced towards the opposite end to check the in-play. This is easily accomplished by using a pry bar. Moving it away from the dial indicator, we check for the proper in-play. In this case, the in-play must be from 0 0.004 to 0 0.022 of an inch. This concludes the installation of a C-15 crankshaft. 